Yes, we're very excited. Spring is here as you're outside. Uh actually kind of sweating, <laughs> but uh, springtime is here. It means a lot of golf, a lot of baseball, a lot of other stuff. And we are extremely excited with the 38th annual Louisiana Classics. Um, give you a little history there. There's only three events that are over 30 years standing in college golf, and we're one of them. So uh, that's a testament to the community here. Uh, the, the type of tournament that we run. Uh, we're very proud of it, uh, very extremely fortunate to have access to Oakbourne and to have a, a partnership with them. Uh, we've invited 13 schools along with us. Uh, we're the 14th school. Typically we have 15 schools, but we did have a last minute cancellation, unfortunately. Um, but in the 14 team field, uh, four, four ranked inside the top 50. Uh, with that being Texas A&M, uh, LSU, SMU, and uh, Little Rock. So competition is going to be pretty high. Uh, defending champions are coming with Texas A&M. Uh, with Sam Bennett, who won the U.S. Amateur, will be participating in our field. So uh, not shortly after the Classics, he, he will go to Augusta and play in the Masters. So, um, But yes, uh, weather looks to be really good. Uh, very appreciative of the support that we get with this event. Uh, Dan is going to be doing television with ESPN, so that, that is a neat feature for these young men uh, from all across the world to get to play that one time uh, on TV is pretty special for them and their families. But uh, the season, we haven't had quite the spring, the start to the spring that the weather is showing outside. It's actually, for our start, it's been a little bit more like winter. A little rainy, a little gloomy, but there's no better place to turn that around than at home. Uh, and very much looking forward to the boys and have a lot of confidence that uh, this group can achieve a lot in this spring. Uh, and looking forward to seeing them showcase that talent here next week. Right, any questions? You know, how important is it for you to have this tournament on your home course? Because there are a lot of college golfers that don't ever get that opportunity. No, Dan, that's a very good question, and, and it is. It's extremely important uh, to compete at home and to have it on our home course. Uh, golf is a little different than the, than the normal sport that competes a variety of times at home. We compete once at home. And so it is a special week to be able to play on your home course certainly can give you a little bit of an advantage. Uh, but then lastly, like I said earlier, um, the community and the support that this – this tournament has with Lafayette and the university and Oakbourne and yourself and the, and the television coverage, these other schools that come here, they do not experience that at other, other events. It's very rare. Um, you kind of feel like you're just a in and out at these other events where this truly is a small professional atmosphere as you've been around the Chittimacha for a long time, knowing what that feels like. And so, yes, it is very important. Um, very, very excited with the opportunity. Coach, you know, to add on to that, Sam Bennett played in the tournament last year. He's going to be back this year. Knowing that he's going to Augusta shortly after the Classic, what does that do for an exposure standpoint for you guys? I think it's a tremendous exposure. I would love for you guys to promote that, even though he, he plays for A&M. Absolutely. I mean, to be able to see a, a U.S. Amateur champion compete in your backyard, uh, a young man that's probably going to have a, a pretty good career, I would think, uh, playing professional golf. And that's another thing. Over the years, Dan and I were talking earlier about how many guys have played on tour that have come through this tournament. Uh, we've had quite a lot. And e even in the last decade, I mean, you look at Sam Burns uh, from LSU. Uh, you look at the Illinois boys that ran and, and had some good careers on tour. And obviously, Sam looks like he's lining up to have a very successful uh, professional career uh, next starting next season. So I would love for you to pro promote it for sure. Uh, lastly, to, to do a little promotion, we've, we've done something that I am really excited with, and it was kind of more the guys last year came up with this idea. But number nine, for those that are familiar with Oakbourne, is a is a pretty de demanding par three. It's over water. It, it's it's known throughout college golf as a as a difficult, challenging uh, hole. So we are going to flip the final round uh, and have the leaders tee off number ten, so that they come to number nine, and that's the fifty fourth hole. 
hopefully having it decide the tournament champion. And to add further to it, um, have Brian Sonier, former quarterback here, I think we all know Brian with MTS, has really taken taken spearhead on on trying to turn it into a little bit of kind of the waste management atmosphere uh, that we saw at Phoenix. And so he's recruiting, uh, he, he recruited some food vendors. I think we're going to have some cheap, cheap beer for some students that are above 21. But we're looking to please help me promote that as well. Uh, the, the guys have called it the swamp. And uh, how awesome would that be to have two, three hundred people surrounding that ninth hole or really the 54th hole on television? It'd be it could be, be it could be really special. So uh, looking forward to that. What about your guys? How the spring so far? And are you looking for somebody to maybe have a little bit of breakout here? You've had that happen before in the past. Yes, looking, uh, you know, looking for our two seniors to, to really leave their mark. Um, and no better time than to do that now. Um, also very excited with uh, a freshman. Milan uh, has played a very good fall, and, and he's had a pretty consistent spring so far. Really anxious to see what he could do, talking about that local knowledge. You know, this young man has come from South Africa 8,000 miles away, so he's had to learn all these new golf courses that we've gone to, um, where theoretically he's kind of, this is his home course that he has a lot better comfortable knowledge on so anxious to see how that translates into his competition because he's he's extremely talented talk about a future tour players he's one that I, I do believe has the potential to, to to make it down the road but uh so yeah looking and also local Eli Ortigo we've seen what he's done um with a course rec school record there last fall um and, and but but on the same breath, Dan, uh, as a former player as well, I, I do know all too well it can be a challenge to play at home. And so the the goal and the, is to get these boys as comfortable as possible, um, and and see what they can do. You mentioned TV. Um, you mentioned uh, the Phoenix Open, which is also something that kind of the Chitamacha uh, has taken from a little bit too. Um, do you feel like that's maybe what makes this? event so unique and so desirable for top 50 top 100 programs to come here or is it something else that makes it so i think it's a it's a, a there's a long list that this this probably a press conference we don't have enough time to give you all of that i'm saying that in a sarcastic way of how much support we get i mean the, from the from the membership at oakbourne uh, the, 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 the the supporters that support the college am we have which is unique to college golf and they're Without that college am, we can't have this tournament. And and these guys that are guys and ladies that are playing in this college am, I mean, they're putting up a nice penny uh, to, to support us. And, and then yes, the like I said earlier, a lot of college tournaments you go to and you just kind of feel like you weren't over, overly welcome there. Where here it's the direct opposite. I mean, it's the Cajun culture, right? I'm a cook, I'm a cook gumbo. I'm gonna invite you on my front porch, and and we're gonna have a good long conversation. It's the same thing. It's the they, they feel welcomed here, uh, and that's, that's a testament to, to the community.